I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome to Dennehy Transport here in Farron 4 in County Kerry in Ireland. I'm here today to test drive their flagship, the Volvo FH16 with 750 horsepower. I'm really looking forward to taking one of these for a test drive. I've never driven one of these before, the flagship Volvo. So yeah, I'll be taking you on a full exterior tour of this truck. There has been many modifications done to this particular example and then I'll hop inside and I'll show you all the interior features and then I'll get hooked underneath the trailer and we'll be taking it out on the road for a test drive. You ready for this guys? Let's go! Starting off with the exterior design then, looking very well today with the sun shining on it there. So this metallic paint is known as Circus Ruby Pearl. That's the finish, really looks good doesn't it? And up there on the roof he has the six additional spotlights and the light sign there that lights up at night, Dennehy, and then the two air horns and he has a flashing red beacons there. He has an extension there on the sun visor, that's an additional piece and the mirrors there matching in with the exterior Circus Ruby Pearl and he also has the bull bar there at the front, the kangaroo bar as some of you may call it and he has four more additional spotlights in behind that. So let's just walk in for a closer look and the aluminium wheels looking great also. He, um, he has a sort of a carbon fiber finish there to the grill. Have a look at that. If I zoom in there closely, looks pretty good on the Volvo. And I move down here, the daytime running lamps are LEDs, but the driver has changed these to orange. So that's just another modification to the truck and we have the Xenon headlights. And down here he has a strobe light that flashes orange as well. He has that changed. And all these additional lights down the side of the truck. Very nice on the 2018 FH16. So yeah, I'm just going to walk around the passenger side. And it's riding on super singles there at the front and on the midlift. With the Alcoa aluminium wheels. And the front suspension is on air. So at the moment it's on its normal ride height. But you can lower it and you can higher it. So it goes up to about maybe over 12 inches of clearance here but it's just sitting there at its normal ride height at the moment and he's the, you see there the air intake he has that matching in also with the exterior colour and he has an additional lamp there underneath the mirror. So walking around the uh, passenger side here he has the diesel tank positioned in behind this beautiful finish here by P2. So P2 Stainless up in Ross Grey in County Tipperary have done all the finish here on the catwalk but the driver, I, I don't know how he hasn't scraped up all this, there's no scrape marks on it. So I think I'll be letting him hook underneath the trailer because I don't want to be the first one to scrape it up on this 2018 FH16. So the diesel tank is uh, 600 litres and we do have an Ad Blue tank on that side, that is 60 litres. Now one thing you have to be careful of with your Ad Blue is if you don't get it positioned on your chassis but you have it up here that will mean that you will lose a locker on the driver's side. So if I zoom over here onto uh, Dennehy's FH so you see the Ad Blue tank if it's positioned there you will lose that small locker space on the driver's side. So something you might want to think about when you're configuring your FH16 and of course we have the stacks out the back there as well. Now there is a button on the dashboard that you can press to use the stacks with the exhaust coming out of course or else you can use the, um, the existing exhaust underneath. So there's just a switch there but when you use the underneath exhaust there is just a small bit still being emitted from the stacks. But it's handy because if you don't want to mark up your trailers with all that black soot uh, especially when the truck is doing a regen on the diesel particular filter you don't want all that black soot coming out and marking your trailer so it's good to have that as an option just to blow it out underneath so uh, just another option there that you might want to think about and he has war horse there on the back just uh, all around the Susie's there so that is the theme that is airbrushed on the back of the cab now that's done by uh, a company called Blow up in Sligo so it took them two days of work to do all the airbrush on the back, so it looks very well, doesn't it? Uh, something you don't really see until you drive behind the unit. So when it's hooked underneath a trailer, of course, you won't be seeing this, but it depends what trailer you're hooked under, of course. But 
yeah, still nice to have it all the same. Uh, just customizing and making the FCH16 your own truck, your own kind of look to it. And P2 have done all this work on the back as well. Just look at this. And on the back lights, I love the indicators, the way they flash over. Look, <laughs> very well, isn't it? Looks great. And we have a storage box there at the back. I like the registration there with 750 on it. And uh, if you want to jump start the truck, there's access to that little pull out system there in behind that uh, little door there at the back. But uh, yeah, great work there by P2 Stainless. So let's just walk around the driver's side. And let me just show you the add blue tank, the cover for that. But uh, yeah, looks great, doesn't it? Really nice, nice shine off those exhausts. He must shine this truck an awful lot because it's just spotless here, guys. Really clean. Uh, let's just open up the small little locker here. Uh, storage underneath there. Very good to have that. And I have this already opened with a small little pull uh, ring on the inside of the door. So good space in that. And we have more storage up here as well. Uh, you can access, access that by lifting up the bunk. And we have an amplifier system here for the upgraded stereo. So that was just another option that was ticked. And you have your fire extinguisher there. Always have a fire extinguisher in your truck, guys. Always have one, okay? And uh, we have the uh, warning triangle here and a locker of equal space on the passenger side and a small one on the passenger side as well. So let's just close that up. 750 horses. Nice finish there on the door handle. And we have three steps leading up into the cab. And nice FH16 on the door card. More storage on the door card itself. And we do have a full electric adjustment on the driver's seat with three seat memory. So that's something you don't often see in trucks, electric adjustment. I'm just going to turn off the uh, hazard switch there. And we don't have any clutch pedal. We have the iShift gearbox. So your fully automated 12 speed gearbox. So let's just have a look at it there and you can go down through your gears manually, of course. And we have reverse, neutral, auto and manual mode. And we have uh, economy and power mode. And we also have an L button here at the back as well. So if you ever do have a problem with your truck, you'll be able to maneuver it by pressing the L function there. But uh, yeah, very good eye shift gearbox. Uh, we don't have the dual clutch in this, just the standard eye shift box and nice coffee maker there as well and beside it we have very handy fridge good size fridge and you can adjust the temperature on that as well uh, good storage space and here we have a nice little table here um, if i just move down these you can store a bottle there nice attention to detail from volvo and even underneath here look you can store another bottle and up here we've got some storage and we can pull out this for another bottle and storage up there. Uh, I'll close them later on. And we have a 12 volt socket and 24 volt socket there. And the dashboard, very good because it's all flat. So when you overnight somewhere, you can put all your items here. You can move that around. And we have a full air suspended passenger seat, which was another option ticked as well. Now, these, those curtains are not standard. They are a different type of curtain that he picked uh, they're an aftermarket curtain but these are a Volvo extra as well so these curtains are changed from the standard FH16 750 we have all that storage space there at the back wall we have the upper bunk with the ladder and we have the back wall there with a light adjustment and uh, you can adjust your night heater there as well and speakers there on the back wall he has the mattress topper and gain access to all that storage space underneath and get access to your outside lockers as well. So you'll see it there, look, you can tilt back the bunk as well. Very handy for watching your television. And of course, we do have the XXL Volvo as well that will give you an extra 10 inches of space, but they're very expensive, guys. Over 15,000 pounds extra above this XL. But uh, yeah, we do have the big sunroof there. And of course, if you do ever do roll over the truck, you can smash that and climb out through it. Storage up there as well, and you can put CBs in here or additional equipment. More storage there and also in there. 
and up above the driver's side as well. I really like these uh, little doors as well, really good. And more lighting functions, your tachograph here and all around here. Oh yeah, we do have the sunshade as well, watch this. Let me just move that down. That's very good, isn't it? And we have a sunshade there for the driver's door, I'll show you that shortly. And moving down to the dashboard, let me just go down through some of the functions. I'll just start it up here, just give you a quick sound of the engine. Let's see what it sounds like. So your straight six-cylinder diesel engine, 750 horsepower. Just give it a couple of revs here. So we have our big speedometer and our rev counter underneath. And there you see engine temperature add blue and our fuel gauge here. So if I just press the nav button here, so we do have satellite navigation. There you have it. And oh yeah, very good as well. Watch this guys. I'm just going to close the door there. If I turn on the left indicator here, watch this. Look, a camera shows up here. So there's a camera up there on the visor and it's pointing downwards. So very good for doing all your maneuvers. So let's go down through more functions of the dashboard. We have our lane departure warning. We have our rear reversing buzzer. You can turn that on or off, of course. We have the regen for our diesel particulate filter. We have our hill start aid. We have the level function there for the front axle. So at the moment it's in its normal ride height, but we can lower it down and we can put it back to the normal ride height. So it, it really is quick as well. And uh, we can higher it up, of course, over 12 inches, good ground clearance. And here we have our mid-lift control function for rising and lowering the mid-lift, off-road traction control switch, our differential lock switch, electronic handbrake. Down here we have AUX2 and AUX1. These switches have not yet been configured. And then we have a DAS function. Now that is your driver alert support system. So if the truck senses that the driver is not paying attention to the road and is swerving in and out of the lane, it will sound a warning for you to take a break. And yeah, very handy to have that in case the driver loses attention. And then down here we have our advanced emergency braking system and your lane departure warning. And there down below as well, this is very handy. We, we have a, an electronic switch there for tilting the cab electronically. And over here your ignition key there and we can uh, lock and unlock the doors by that remote and also test our lamps as well your headlights uh, moving on to the dashboard we have all these functions here for your stereo and uh, for turning up and down the volume and over here we have our uh, adaptive cruise control you can set the distance there if I show you there on the screen you can set that distance to the vehicle ahead very good and for answering and uh, hanging up on your phone calls and voice activation also so I'm not sure what sort of voice activations it does at the moment but there you have it. That is the function there. Let's just press the air horn. Very good. <laughs> and two smaller horn functions there as well. Now this remote control, this is very good, right? Because look, it's wireless. So you can hop out of the cab and rise and lower your back suspension and also operate the PTO switch. But uh, yeah, I really like this function here. And if you can find somebody really clever in Volvo, they can configure this remote control to do other functions with your truck like turning on lights in your trailer or various other things some drivers have been known to uh, configure this differently you just need to find somebody clever in Volvo to do it <laughs> but you see there look idle time exceeded so it's after turning off the engine automatically uh, down here we have more functions there for the mirrors and for the windows and they're one touch up and down I really like that and nice grab handle there and your mirrors nicely done and your shade there for the sun and these switches down here all these aux switches here are various switches that the driver himself has configured for the exhaust system and for lights and down here are some more lights and your level control there for the back axle and your catwalk lights there as well but uh yeah uh, we also have ambient lighting here as well so let me just operate that and show you uh, we have the lamps there up on the roof and we also have ambient lighting so it will show up there 
it should show up there let me just press it up yeah we have ambient lighting here and look at this also down here look <laughs> all down along that little uh, door card storage area there I really like that that is a nice touch isn't it and also underneath that section of the dashboard but yeah I think that's just about it from the interior of the FH16 750 horsepower guys <laughs> it's time to get it out hook underneath that trailer and see what it's like let's go <laughs> So I've got Adrian there, he's standing on the cloth, look. So he doesn't scrape up the whole catwalk area here. He's just doing up the Susie's. Very good, he looks after his truck. <laughs> and off we go. So we're just taking it out on a short little test drive here. 750 horsepower, guys. This is the most powerful truck I've ever driven. And it is, of course, Volvo's flagship for the moment. Now, I did hear a rumor that they're working on a more powerful version than this 750 horsepower, 16.1 liter, straight six cylinder diesel engine. That's just a rumor at the moment, because as you all know, Scania are bringing out a flagship truck that will have in or around 800 horsepower, so Volvo will have to fight back with probably an even more powerful version um, than Scania's flagship, future flagship, that is, has yet to be announced, of course. But for the moment, 750 horsepower, this is the most powerful truck in Europe at the moment. But I could tell, guys, just by pulling out of Denny's yard, the accelerator pedal, it's very sensitive. I mean, I barely had to press it, and I was pulling out of the yard, but uh, great sensitivity in the accelerator pedal, and the comfort. Of course, we have four airbags on the back axle, and the front suspension on full air. So the comfort, just great. But the gear shifts are very smooth. I mean, we can put it into manual mode and flick our switch on the side here and go down through our gears manually if we wish, if we want even more acceleration from our gears but uh, it still sounds good not as good as a V8 of course the sound of a V8 but still has a nice engine tone to it and of course we have our three-stage exhaust brake now this is not fitted with the retarder you can get that as an option it's just not fitted to this truck but uh, we have a very light load on probably only 10 ton or less but I mean it's pulling it like there's nothing on the trailer guys great power and this the uh, three-stage exhaust brake I used this before when I took out the 540 horsepower FH 5 540 for a spin and uh, good stopping power from your auxiliary brake three-stage but uh, yeah, the steering is quite accurate as well. Okay, I'm in 12th gear, down into 11th. I'm just gonna use the exhaust brake, the three-stage exhaust brake to slow down at the roundabout here. So not using the brake pedal, still not using my brakes. And you see there, just use my brakes now, and we're into 10th gear. So down into eighth, going into this roundabout, and Coming off the roundabout, I'm just going to power it up and give you guys a sound of the engine. And the exhaust as well. We'll hear what that sounds like. So listen to this, guys. Hear that? Listen. a little bit of a <laughs> off the exhaust but look at okay there's not a lot of weight on the trailer guys but 
It's just like effortless power going up the hill here. Very easy to do. It's just like nothing to the truck. So uh, let's just knock it up into 12th actually. And look at that, still pulling, look. 80 kilometers and we're revving in at just under 1,000 RPM, look. Man, some amount of pulling power, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put it back into auto here and let the engine do its business and I'll turn around here at the top of the hill. But, just so easy, the power. And just going back downhill here, we do have the eye roll mode function. So when the truck knows you're not using the accelerator or the auxiliary brake, it will essentially go into neutral mode and just freewheel back down. So you see there on the dashboard, it's gone into N. So we will save fuel doing this. On the auxiliary brake as well, you do have a button on the side here. So you can set your speed going down a hill without keeping your foot on the brake pedal and wearing out your brakes. So a uh, nice function there as well. But just talking about software upgrades for the gearbox. Now, say for instance, you're somebody that bought a second hand FH Volvo. Uh, say for instance, a construction work FH. Like the configuration on the gearbox might be different to this FH16 750. So, you know, like depending on the application and what work the truck is doing, you should really check and see what sort of software is being used on the gearbox because if you're doing long haul you may want to configure your gearbox differently to somebody who's doing construction work on a daily basis and you can save fuel depending on what way your gearbox has been configured for software but uh yeah so different software upgrades for your gearbox so yeah, I'm gonna drive back to Denny's and we will summarize today's video. Let's go. Yeah, quite a truck. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the horn. Adrian has fitted an extra horn on this truck. So let me just open up the door here. So we do have the standard air horn here. But that's not a horn, guys. Listen to this. The train horn. Now that's a horn. <laughs> listen. And listen. Whoa, that's power, guys. That is power. Okay, let's just knock it off here and hop outside. Yeah, so uh, that just about wraps up my YouTube channel, guys. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> I'm only messing. Oh, I really liked it though, I really liked it. Plenty more trucks to show you guys coming up. But where can it go from here, guys? What has Volvo up their sleeve and Scania coming up for flagship trucks? I mean, where's it gonna end up? We have 750 horsepower here. It's going to end up over 800 horsepower in around that. We do know that Scania is coming out with a flagship soon enough, and then Volvo will have to follow it up with probably an even more powerful version, who knows? Each one is waiting for the other to make their first move on the next flagship from Volvo or Scania. But this, for the moment, is still the most powerful truck in Europe. 750 horses. But yeah, <laughs> these guys wanted a quick mention as well. Look, Kingdom Truck and Trailer. For all your truck maintenance needs, give them a call, okay? Okay, a huge thanks to Denny Heats for having me here today, based down here in Farn 4 in County Kerry. I will chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then. Cheers! What's the torque figure, guys? 650 Newton meters, guys, if you're ever tightening your nuts.